Okay, we're back here with Seb. Progress on his right shoulder after his clavicle fracture when he fell off his mountain bike. Remember, he's had a plate surgery here, open reduction, internal fixation. He's got a plate that's actually gonna remain. We now know that that plate's gonna stay in there because it's totally fine. He's doing really well here. He's improving really well. He still has some strength deficits. And what we've noticed is he's got an AC joint stiffness issue here. Now that's pretty common. If you imagine like he's fallen on his elbow and he's fractured his collarbone, can you imagine if you fracture your collarbone, that AC joint that's at the end is probably gonna get sprained as well. Now, if you look on his left one, his flexion is all the way good. All right, his right one, when he gets up into here, th there's some stiffness there, okay? So you can see that he's lost a little bit of range there. What we're working on is getting this AC joint a little bit looser, so we're mobilizing that, and that's helped improve how much range he gets. It's really important that that comes back. So what we do with him, if I want to get, like, if I want to get this range a little bit better, now this is not shoulder impingement. This, you know, like he's fine when he goes through abduction. It's the end of range fraction when he's just a bit sort of jammed up, and he feels that like right in there. So if we play around with his AC joint here, when we move his collarbone, it's just, he's, there's just not as much movement going on there as the other side. So we try and loosen that up a little bit. And one of the best ways of doing that is actually mobilizing that whole end of the collarbone. And he doesn't really like this too much. This is a little bit of a sore point on him. It's a little bit stiff. So if we do a bit of a caudal glide on the end of that collarbone, okay, to try and loosen up the little joint. We also do an AP, which is coming through in the top here. And remember, it's all okay to do this. He's been to the surgeons, had full clearance to go and do sport, pain permitting. But if we can get rid of some of this dysfunction, you see he's wincing a little bit there, he doesn't really like that too much. This movement here, which we've been doing today, to try and get more flexibility out of that clavicle acromium joint, will give him a bit more freedom through here, which is gonna help him with all his exercises, but also help him return to the swimming. Because if he's doing overhead work, he doesn't want that jamming up in here and turning you know, a collarbone fracture into an AC joint problem, then an impingement problem, and so on and so forth. So that's really important for us in the clinic to try and get, or help him get rid of that, and then he goes and strengthens that up by working on loading through that AC joint getting his press better, getting his scapula press better, so he can return all his function. Now you'll notice that he's still got a little bit of a divot in his pec here. It's a lot better than the first one we saw. It's actually improving here, but he's still got a bit of loss of muscle tissue here. So it's important that we also get that stronger. It's hard to isolate, but it will come back in time if he does a lot of pec work. So we're gonna do that as well. With Seb's exercises for this week, because he's doing so well, we're advancing up all his exercises. But remember, he's still got this AC joint stiffness here, and that's really crucial that we're gonna get that better as far as strength and mobility. So his scap presses are now going on to something like this, which is a height, but if he takes his left arm away, the load is there, so there's a little bit of gravity load, which is good, okay, which is gonna increase the load for him, but it's gonna be very functional for him to try and improve his single arm stability through his shoulder blade. So if he goes into a scapular retraction movement. He's got to try and not bend his elbow. And then he tries and presses away into a protraction movement. That's going to strengthen up through his AC joint. It's also going to get his serratus working really well here to help him stabilize his shoulder blade. But he can feel the weakness, go through that again for me. He can feel the weakness, the difference between right and left. Even though he is fine on the bike, he's like doing 200 k's on the bike, he can run 21 k's yesterday, but there's still a massive difference here and we wanna fix that to make sure that doesn't become a problem down the track. So he's gotta make sure his shoulder doesn't pop up, all right? He's gotta get as much retraction as he can through here and as much protraction as he can through here. That's gonna help him with his push-up, his shoulder press, his chest press, all his pec type movements, making sure that his shoulder blade is functioning, then he'll get the better pec development, okay? So that's an important one for him to work on. What he can do to advance that is put a band load on top of that. So you can put his hand through a band, any sort of band, power band, theraband, doesn't matter, okay? He can now do the same thing with trying to get 
a bit more resistance to the movement, okay, which just helps him with the strengthening. So a little bit more load, push away for me, is going to get him better through that joint. Okay, so that's something we're going to advance to him as well, which is going to help with his push-up, like I said, and his chest press. The other couple of things we want to work on is making sure he does his chest press and his fly. So as you saw with his pec, he's getting better muscle development, but he's still missing a bit of a divot in the top part. So he needs to do things like chest presses and flyers to help with that. What I suggest he does is go pretty light to start with, because he, again, he can feel the difference between left and right. Um, and just doing a straight fly, keeping a bent elbow, so just come out of the floor for me. Doing it on the floor, out you go, is quite good for him to start with because it gives him a barrier at the bottom here so it doesn't go too far, so he doesn't overload his AC joint, overload that pec. Remember, he's very weak out there. He's way stronger in here. You can feel the difference between, like, hey, that feels sort of normal like the other side, but when he comes out, the further out he goes, that's where he's needing his pec. The longer that pec is as he goes out, the weaker it is, and he's missing some tissue there. So he's got to be careful that, A, he doesn't go too far, and B, he makes sure he has this light enough, okay? Don't go too heavy with this will be key for him. Otherwise, he'll go and strain or overload it, or he'll just start recruiting other muscle groups like his delt to do the job for him. So we might go from the floor, move into an incline, that sort of thing, but this one's gonna be quite good to isolate, get that muscle tissue up. It'll take him a while, but it's very important that he gets that the same as that right inside. So then he would go into a chest press. So this one here, we like using a kettlebell. I would just go for him, on a 45 degree angle outwards. So he's from the shoulder joint out this way. He's not out square like this. He's definitely not down through here. He's about 45 degrees. This one, what he can do is incorporate a scapular press with his chest press. So if he comes up to the top, when he's at the top here, he wants to be fully protracted forward with the shoulder blade. Okay, there. The first thing he's gonna do before he drops the bell down is drop his shoulder down and try and as he bends his elbow on that 45 degree angle, scoop his shoulder blade into retraction there, which looks after his AC joint position. Okay, and then he keeps his shoulder blade flat, presses that kettlebell, up you go for me, and then follows with his shoulder blade up and gets that full protraction. <clears throat> quite hard, quite difficult, but trying to get that moving pattern as well as the strengthening is gonna be key for him to return to, like I said, push-ups, chest press, swimming, that sort of thing. Okay, see you next time.